actually don't like this setup at all. All right, I gotta rearrange some things. <laughs> Sometimes when you get stuff in, you just have to put it wherever it fits. That is what we did here this time, but no more. These are all diced tomatoes, so moving them over here. Whoop, whoop, be careful. They're curiously stacked on top. These also have the little sections here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a little indentation here where you can actually rip that off and use it to hold your cans in. And you can keep that on your active working pantry. For these, we usually open them up and put them in our other pantry with the can rollers that I built, like half of a box at a time. So I go ahead and just leave them in here as is. Oh, sweet, winning. These need to get used up. These all expire 423. Not sure why we bought these many, many months ago and they still have the expiration date of those that we bought months later. Makes no sense, but. Who am I to argue? Got a whole nother section there. These, I mentioned last time that I didn't actually mark the date on them. So I'm now that I'm up here putting stuff away, which is when I like to mark the date on stuff, I'm gonna go ahead and do that on the front one. Just write it as big as you can, wherever you can. Like this, for example, so that you can see it from the ground. I was about to use one of these cans and I realized that the expiration date wasn't for a while. So I didn't. Uh, I put it back and used something else that was going to expire a year sooner. 425, that's forever. And these are all going to be the same expiration date in this pack. We pretty much just use these for chili. And then we're going to put it back up there. I do like to front and face so that if I ever need to reach them from the bottom or see them from the bottom, I've got them here where I can easily reach and see them. Clean up some of my junk food. So here on this section, we have uh, black beans, a label for black beans, but we don't actually have black beans in there. We have these giant cans of beans. I hate buying these giant cans of beans because they never fit in our pantry like they should. So I'm trying to avoid buying those. So some of these are expired already. They say 12, 20, 20, and it is now March, but they last for a long time in the cans. So you don't have to worry too much about the expiration date. You do need to watch for botulism, which is deadly if you ever to open it and smell it. You can look up, you can Google botulism and what it looks like. kind of putting it wherever you can fit it as big as you possibly can so I'm gonna stack them on top of each other so I can tell what we have in there if there's a little bit of a variety garbanzo beans these are supposed to be good for hummus so with this round when I went through and I noticed we have the refried beans that are expired already as of December so like three months past that's okay to eat because they are canned again. That's the best by date, not the it's completely destroyed and ruined date. That's just the eat best by date. So with that, I went ahead and took a couple of cans, put them in our can rotator in the first pantry so that we can be sure to start eating them. I'm okay with the setup as it is right now. So some of these I got lazy with, like the chicken. I marked the one on the bottom, didn't mark the rest in the case. I think I was marking a lot that day. So I'll just mark a couple here now. They're all the same. But as you start using them, you don't want to end up having no date on the front. It's better if you can get in here and mark them all at once when you put them in. And I've been really good about doing that lately. But sometimes I slip. We're all human. It's hard to keep a track of, especially whenever you have little ones at home that you're trying to take care of. Oh, now that I'm up here, I can do that. Like this one, for example, is black beans, packed 7, 20, 25 pounds. We hadn't eaten these in a while. And so I went ahead and put a oxygen absorber. I think I put two in each one of these bags and five pounds. Oh, it's going to make a lot of beans. I'll put that up here. I need to buy another pack so I can practice making some. I, I made some in our Instapot and it didn't taste very good, even though I thought I added a lot of seasoning in there. It's not very good. 
think it needs more seasoning, maybe more salt. I don't know. If you guys have a good recipe, let me know. I try to keep all the snacky stuff to one side. It doesn't, it's not always successful, but I try to keep like the peanuts and we've got some fruit snacks and things like that. I'm trying to keep them all here in one little thing. And you can just reuse the cardboard boxes if you know you're going to be eating these in a matter of weeks. It really doesn't matter what you put them in. If you're doing long-term storage or if you know you have bug issues, you definitely want to put it in something like a one of those tubs that somebody recommended on my comments on one of my videos with the gamma lids. Those are definitely a sweet deal. I don't want to spend the money on that right now for what I've got going on when we eat through it so quickly. But I will be investing in those, especially with the things I use ongoing, like, for example, dried beans. My wheat berries, I really want to get my wheat berries in one of those. <laughs> I need to freeze each one of those for a couple of days before I put them in there. So it doesn't ruin the batch. Oh, and then rice. I want to start storing my rice butter. But that's all in time. My next step, you know, you have to do this in stages. Like, unless you have a lot of money all at once, you have to do it in stages. Like, you need to research. And my next stage was water. Our shortage issue was water, not food. So for me, it was important to go ahead and buy our, our water storage. I went ahead and saved up for that and bought that first. Now, we need more potatoes because I'm noticing we only have one case of these. This will probably last us. We use at least one a month. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's eight in here. And they expire October 21. So we probably need to buy another case of these. We need to use these first because these expire March 21. So they're expiring this month. Put these on top. So one thing I need to get better on is my pastas. I'm not very good at keeping track of my pastas. These don't even belong in here. We just didn't have any room in our first pantry. Uh -oh. These belong in the first pantry. We ran out of room. So it's like a backup to our backup to our backup. Because this is pantry number three. So like this one, look how, much, look how much time I'm wasting. You could try to look here and see when it expires. It's open because my kiddos decided to take a peek. July 21. It's pointless to put it here on the front like that. If it's going to be sitting sideways in your pantry, you're going to be looking at this or that. You're not going to want to look at each one. So here, this doesn't really tell me much about the product. So I'm probably going to store it this way where I can kind of see, oh, this is probably cake mix. And then I'll write the date on that. Mmm, carrot cake. That's the best place I could find for it. Could have written it on top, but that's red. Oh. Then we'll put it in like this so we can see it. No bugs. That's a good sign. These art markers are great for, this is the fine point. And these are great for marking on the cans, but they're not so good for marking on the boxes. It would be better if we could have a giant fat tip marker to mark on the boxes. But I didn't want to spend the money on that. So we're probably going to end up using these in the next two or three months. So I'm really not concerned about long-term storage there. So we just buy however much we think we're going to eat in the next, depends on that if there's a sale, usually the next three to six months, we usually freeze it and then put it in here. So we also have a pasta maker. The biggest part to that is I'm replacing my preps for the boxed already pre-made pastas with wheat. So I can grind up the wheat and I can make the pasta. It'd be a pain in the butt, but at least we'd have it. And I'm also working on, on making more freeze-dried meals. Are the beans? the beans. Ba -ba -dun 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 -dun. And I cleaned up this area. 
get a little more organized. I need to put our rice and mashed potatoes back there. This prayer is pretty much the same, but I'm upgraded this to get all my diced tomatoes to one side, which is where I wanted them in the first place. Well, I've discovered pests in my preps. See, this is rice. It was vacuum sealed. Clearly it's not anymore. Let me show you one that is comparison. This one is vacuum sealed. It doesn't move around at all. This one is not. It's fluid like a loose bag of rice. My pest is a three-year-old little boy that decided to play with the package while we had it down from our storage area to rearrange some things. So keep an eye out for those pests. <laughs>